Hey Internet, Rob Cass here again. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the latest casting rumor for the Marvel Studios Captain Marvel movie. Um, right now, it looks like uh, actress Brie Larson, who uh, was in, I mean, I, I know her mostly from uh, the, the Showtime show uh, United States of Terra, which was a really good show, and I'm really sad that it's gone. And the movie adaptation of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, is in early talks to play Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, uh, on the big screen for Marvel Studios. That's great, I guess. Right now it's just a rumor. It's a pretty concrete rumor, if there is such a thing. And the reason for that is because it's coming from Variety. Sources from Variety say... After her Oscar-winning turn in Room, Brie Larson may be ready to step into the shoes of Marvel's most popular female superhero. Sources tell Variety that Marvel is in early talks with Larson to play Captain Marvel in the studio's standalone project. It is unknown where things stand in the negotiations, but sources have told Variety that she is the choice and that Larson is leaning towards playing the part. Marvel had no comment in the story. So that makes it sound like it's not completely final, but that, um... Brie Larson seems to be their choice to play Captain Marvel if this ends up being true and it doesn't end up being more Hollywood bullshit. In terms of Brie Larson being cast as Captain Marvel, um, I'm okay with it. Uh, I like Brie Larson, she's a good actress, all the stuff that I've seen her in so far. Um, Trainwreck I think was the most recent thing that I've seen her in. She's been in stuff since that, but I believe that was the, that was the most recent uh, thing I've seen her in. She's great. She's a good actress. She's good at her job. Uh, she's young. Uh, that seems to be a pretty big problem a lot of people have with it is that she, oh, she's too young to be Carol. Carol's older than that. She's 26. 26 is not super young. Uh, it's not super old. It's a good age. And you got to remember that whoever they sign up for a role like Captain Marvel, a role like Carol Danvers is going to be in the Marvel Universe. She's going to be cemented in this universe. She's going to be popping up in multiple movies. Uh, she might be in some post credit scenes for movies around her movie's release. She might be in Avengers Infinity War. In fact, I would put good money that she's going to be on in at least one of the volumes of Infinity War, even though that's not what it's being called anymore, but whatever. Now, I'm a pretty big Captain Marvel fan, so this news means something to me. This movie means something to me. The idea of Carol Danvers on the big screen is amazing. The character of Carol Danvers has been a personal favorite of mine for quite some time. Um, I've always loved Miss Marvel. I've always loved uh, Carol Danvers' ability to be a tough badass, uh, to be able to be out there on the front lines with the Avengers and hold her own with characters like Thor and and you know Captain America and Iron Man and the Hulk. Um, she's just as strong and just as badass as all those characters, if not stronger than some of them. Yeah, I said it. I said it. She's stronger than some of them. It wasn't until the last few years, really, uh, really kind of when she first took the mantle of Captain Marvel, that she's sort of been thrust to the forefront. And now she's kind of quickly become uh, one of their most popular female superheroes, one of their most popular superheroes, period, regardless of what gender she is, which is all well-deserved. And the title of Captain Marvel has only highlighted, I feel, her badassness as a character and uh, brought her to the forefront. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at her. Look at her. Look at that fucking, look at the fucking energy, energy punch she's about to deliver to your face. Boom. To your face. Huh? Huh? Get the marble? Huh? I am so happy that she is popular enough to warrant a standalone movie. I mean, they haven't even debuted her in another Marvel movie yet. She hasn't popped up in Avengers or Avengers Age of Ultron or Captain America Civil War Avengers 2.53.0 fucking Oh, that movie was a clusterfuck, but it was glorious. It was a glorious clusterfuck. It was it was what a clusterfuck should be. I'm looking at you, Batman v Superman. It's disappointed. I mean, that's huge. I mean, 
Black Widow has been in every Avengers movie. She's popped up in Captain America Civil War, Captain America Winter Soldier, Iron Man 2, Iron Man... Th I mean, she's been... She's popped up in all these different Marvel movies, and they have yet to even discuss publicly giving her her own movie. Up until very recently, Kevin Feige started started kind of talking a little bit about it, saying, oh, well, you know, we really like the character of Black Widow, and we're waiting for the right project to come along. Horse shit. We need strong female superheroes out there. We need them to have their own movies, and we need those movies to be good. I'm not talking about fucking Catwoman. I'm not talking about fucking 1980s Supergirl. We want a good, good superhero movie that is female-driven. We want a female superhero at the lead of their own movie. Not at the cost of that movie being a superhero movie, though. We don't want it to be all about the fact that she's a female superhero. It shouldn't be. It should be a good superhero movie. Oh, and by the way, that superhero that just saved your fucking life happens to be a woman. You're welcome. Carol Danvers is the perfect choice for that type of movie. And I, for one, am really looking forward to it. The general consensus of the fans so far seems to be that Katie Sackhoff of Battlestar Galactica fame should step into the uh, glowing red boots of Captain Marvel. I personally disagree with that. Please do not leave me hate in the comments or do. I don't care. Fuck you. I don't give a shit. But my point is that I just don't see it. I don't see her. I have nothing against her personally. I just don't see her as Captain Marvel. I don't see her as Carol. I don't think she'd do the character justice. I think Brie Larson is going to do her justice. Maybe. Um, certainly not my first pick. In fact, I wasn't even considering Brie Larson um, up until just now when I read this article. I think she's going to do a better job than Katie Sackhoff. My choices would have been somewhere along the lines of Ivan Strahovski from Chuck, or um, my number one choice, my number one choice is Catherine Winnick of History Channel's Vikings. I feel like she has the acting chops to pull off carrying such a complex character. I feel like she's already proven herself to be physically badass. We can believe that she's doing the awesome kick-ass space flying stunts that she's doing on screen and she's young enough and not super unknown enough that um they can cast her for a number of movies and probably not pay a super huge amount of money that's good that's really good because you're coming into these situations where you have robert downey jr not that he doesn't deserve it but Robert Downey Jr. is getting expensive, you know what I'm saying? And that's because he's a name, he's a legacy, he's got this huge career behind him. Oh, ups and downs here and there. But for the most part, this huge body of work, a lot of it very respectable, and uh, knows it. And so does Marvel, and so does Disney, and that's why they're throwing money at him to keep him on board. Which I'm fine with, because Robert Downey Jr. fucking is Tony Stark. He just is. So that's what I want. I want somebody who just is Captain Marvel. And for me, that's Catherine Winnick to a T. I feel like Catherine Winnick is the best possible choice. I've seen other fans agree with me. I've seen uh, Photoshop manipulations of Catherine Winnick in the Captain Marvel dress um, online and everything. I've seen it. It's great. So I know I'm not the only one that thinks that, but I'm in the minority on this. And that bums me out. I'm totally fine with just sitting back and watching Marvel handle this, how they're gonna handle it, because they've done a pretty bang up job so far, especially with casting. I mean, it's kind of crazy how amazing their casting has been in certain choices. And there have been comic book movie casting choices before that I have been completely against until I've seen the finished product, and then I was on board with. A good example of this is Mark Ruffalo taking over for Edward Norton in the role of Bruce Banner and the Hulk. I wasn't okay with it until someone drew the distinction between Edward Norton being Bruce Banner from the comics and Mark Ruffalo being a closer proxy to David Banner from the original 1970s Incredible Hulk TV series. Then I was more okay with it and now I really love seeing what Ruffalo do does with that role. He does a great job. Scarlett Johansson being cast as the Black Widow, I was not on board with that at all. I thought that was terrible casting. but. You know what? She's done a pretty damn good job, and she's, like I said before, she's been in two-thirds of the fucking Marvel movies as it is. 
All that's missing is her own fucking movie, Marvel. Let's get behind this. Let's make this happen. I'd also like to point out, not Marvel related, but that I was totally against the idea of Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight, and look how that turned out. I mean, fucking look at it. And if you want any kind of idea of the popularity of Captain Marvel, of how mainstream Captain Marvel has become, if you're sitting there going, oh, who's Captain Marvel? I don't know. Why are they doing these obscure characters? Right now, today, Marvel Comics has launched a company-wide crossover called Civil War II. Superhero Boogaloo. It's not, it's not called Superhero Boogaloo, but I'm going to keep calling it that, and you can't stop me. And she's right there in the forefront. As the original Civil War was Captain America versus Iron Man over a clash of ideals, Civil War II is a totally unique take on it where you have Captain Marvel going against Iron, Iron Man in a clash of ideals. But it's different this time because there's Inhumans. So, I mean, it's... So Brie Larson is eh, casting. For me personally, bad casting, Katie Sackhoff. Can't stand her, don't want her anywhere near this project. Again, not as a person, just I don't feel like she's, she's right for this role. Good casting for me, Yvonne Strahovski, but perfect casting, perfect casting. This is Catherine Winnick from History Channel's Vikings. It just is. Now, I have no say over this, you have no say over this. All we can do is sit back and watch and just hope for the best because we're fans and that's kind of what we have to do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you liked anything I said in this video, give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.